Hey, FBC Kids, Pastor Terry here. I am so excited that uh, we are connecting again via cell phone, tablets, uh, social media, and uh, or laptop or, uh, or a desktop computer. But we're so glad, I'm so glad that uh, we get to hang out one more time. So, in the last couple of weeks, uh, Pastor Nikki has talked to you about hope and uh, about peace. And then last week I talked to you about joy. So this week is the last uh, on, the, on the series of Advent, which is the word love. It's on love. And so, uh, but here's the thing. The thing about love is that we can say it all we want. Love, 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 love. Boy, I love you. Man, are you, I really love you. Heart, love, love, love. However, the thing about that is that there is a difference from knowing the four letter word L-O-V-E, love, than actually showing love, being uh, able to give somebody love. And so, you know, when you tell somebody that I hurt you or I love you, um, you know, that's easy. But when you turn around or somebody says to you, boy, I really do love you, but what happens if you say to them, well, what does that mean? What do you think their reaction would be? Uh, yeah, I, um, I love, um, uh, it's a hard concept to understand. Love isn't an emotion. You know, like I said, you have the emotion of, I'm in so in love. And back in my day, this was before texting, but back in my day, we used to write little notes and say, do you like me? cross yes or no and then we'd give our friends to give it to our you know and 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 we would do it that way big difference now but that was what we thought was kind of like love it is so much different now but love isn't a word love isn't 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 an emotion love is an action um we need to show people what love is because it is a choice we make a choice whether um i love you or whether you love me, or whether you love your mom and dad, or your brothers and sisters. I know loving brothers and sisters can be complicated at times. However, loving brothers and sisters, because we're constantly showing them. We're constantly um, doing things for them. Uh, being a, 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 a voice that they can talk to. Uh, helping them out. Helping mom with, with the chores around the house. Helping dad uh, rake the leaves outside. Uh, whatever, whatever that is. All those little actions turn into one big, um, a big uh, event in your life. So anyway, let me tell you a little story. Can I tell you a little story? Let me tell you a little story. Uh, about four years ago, God completely blessed me with my wife, Miss Molly. And now Miss Molly is probably the most amazing person that I've ever met. And, you know, God blessed me to have her in my life. She has a son, which we now both have, but she had a son and his name is uh, Trevor. I call him Trey Dog because he's super cool like that. But uh, Trevor uh, was a stepson. But Molly and I made the choice to love one another till death do us part and uh, for, all, for all the times that we're here on earth. Um, but Trevor didn't have that choice. And so when I moved into the household, when I came into our household, it wasn't really easy for Trevor because he liked having his own time with his mom. He liked having um, dinners with her. He liked spending that individual time. And now there was a new man in the house and that was pretty difficult. But because we loved Miss Molly so much, we did everything that we can through our actions, through the things that we did, in our conversations, sometimes some of them were, were a little tough and a little passionate, but in those conversations, he began to trust me, I began to trust him, and that trust turned into love. And now, I don't introduce him as my stepson, I introduce him as my son. He is my son, he's my Trevor, he's my trade dog, and I'm really glad to have him in my life. So, let's see what the Bible has to say about love. In 1 Corinthians 13, 3, it says, if I have no love, I do not have 
nothing. You know, it also says in the Bible that God is love. God is what is the definition of love. When we think about love, we need to think about God. And so when we have God in our heart, when we have God inside of us, then if we don't let that, if we don't let God out, we're not letting love out. Let me give you an example. I'm hopefully going to not get Miss Molly upset, but I have, yeah, yeah, this is going to get ugly, but I have my superhero mug. I'm a big Hulk fan, so this is my Hulk mug, and this is my cup, which represents the people, the things, life around me, and this, my friends, is a can of whipped cream. Whipped cream is awesome. I love whipped cream because you know what? It makes pumpkin pie. This time of year, pumpkin pie, nothing better. And you know what? I always get the waggy finger from Miss Molly because I like create a Mount Everest like um uh that uh what is that that ride in Disneyland uh that that you you go through the little bobsled thing. That's pretty cool. But I always make that mountain onside my my pumpkin pie. Excuse me. And then I also love it on ice cream sundaes. Love it on ice cream sundaes. You know what? Isn't it really good if you do a psh, psh inside your hot chocolate? Absolutely. But here we go. Hopefully I don't make a mess. Oh, you know what? I really super love this. Kids, <laughs> do not try that at home. Yikes. Where's Miss Molly? Anyway, I get distracted. So anyway, here's my superhero mug. Oh, that was so good. Here's my superhero mug, and this is life. Now I have my whipped cream, which is represents love. Now, inside of this whipped cream can, we have all this love, all this luscious deliciousness, and it's inside this, this mug, or inside this, and now, does it do any good when it's inside? No. Ew, it doesn't taste very good. It tastes like a can. But what it does is inside, it, it doesn't do any good. But when we let it outside, when we um, let the love out and we let God's love come out, you can see that that love just keeps coming on and on and on and on. Man, that's a lot of whipped cream until it finally overflows. There you go. We let, we let God's love out. And so that the people around us feel that overflowing love all over them, all around them. And it is the best way for us, instead of giving them rules and regulations, why don't we show them love? Why don't we show them kindness? Why don't we show them, you know what? Instead of giving them a sermon, why don't we give them a sandwich? Doesn't that be, wouldn't that be awesome? Be kind to people. It's awesome. Listen, if you go to school and you don't have God's love, if you're not showing God's love, things aren't going to be so good. You've got nothing. If mom and dad go to work and they don't show anybody around them love, how do you think that's going to work? Nothing's going to happen. No, you know, they're going to isolate themselves. And in your home, if you're not showing your brothers and sisters, mom and dad, all about love, how's that going to work? Nothing's going to happen. Everybody's going to be mean to each other. But when you let God's love flow out of you like the whipped cream, then what happens is that good things happen. Even mean people have no other choice but to be nice and be kind because you're nice and kind and you're letting God's love show. You're letting, you're, they're seeing Jesus through your actions. Um, in 1 John 4.19, it says, we love each other because he loved us first. God loved us. He takes care of us. He blesses us. And the best way to show the people is to take care of and love people. Do what God's doing for us in our life. Do that for other people in your life. You're awesome. You're wonderful. You're a champion. Parents, remember that what you do at home is what your kids do. I always say, what you do, they do. So, you know, read to your children the, out of the Bible, pray with them, show kindness, show love, even in stressful situations. 
even uh, in sadness or anxiety, you know, show them how a good Christian uh, would respond. We respond with love, correct? Anyway, kids, I love you, and I love you. And anyway, see what I did there? Anyway, I can't wait to see you. Next week, we're going to talk about sacrifice, and I can't wait to see you. Uh, remember, uh, like us, comment, and share on on FBC Kids on Facebook and FBC Kids 1 on Instagram. Look forward to seeing you soon, and uh, you have a great, great Christmas.